Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So up to now, we have successfully created the controllers in our project. So we have the controllers, we have the views, and now it's time for us to create the model also. So models, creating the models, we have already indirectly created the model. That is nothing but our products.js file. So this is nothing but a model. So which will add the product, save the product, these are all the things it will be doing. So instead of having it in the utils and all those things, let's create a new folder here, models. So the naming convention, whichever you want, you can keep it. But in order to have a MVC model view and controller, because of that reason, I'm trying to create it. Here I can create the, I can remove this products.js file. And in the models I am creating here, the product. So normal, the naming convention will be singular only here, the product.js. If you want product.model.js like that also, you can keep it. It's not a problem. So here we'll be having the products. So right now we are saving it in the normal uh, variable only. We'll try to see it, all those things. Now here I can use exports dot save product. Save product is equal to, you will be getting a product here. And in this one, we can write, we can also use the class methodology also. If you want to add, you use class products like that also, you can use it, not a problem. Here what I will try to do here, products dot push of product that's it now he I, I will not export these products variable i will if you want to get the products details we can use exports dot get all products i'll be having another method exports dot get all products and for this one what you can do is return products that's it so this variable will not be accessed anywhere this variable if you want to get the products means you need to call this method that's it this is our simple model and let's see where we can use this model in our controllers. So the routes, there is nothing to do with this one. Why? Because so this all the entire code we have switched by, see, so shifted to the controllers. Let's go on to the controllers here. Product controller. And here we have seen, we are able to see that product controller get add product page. So here that doesn't require anything. And we can remove this products thing. So here if you try to see, yeah, add product. So we don't have an add product. This time we have save product, which comes from the models. So here it should be from models slash product. And we need to send the product here. That's it. So the previous one is also one and the same only, but this time we have separated with a meaningful type. That is nothing but the models folder we have created and we have shifted the product to the models folder. So the exact location, the correct location, we have shifted that product pay, product model. Now that's it. Let's go on to the app.js. So this is our app.js. And in this app.js, so we are not using anything. I think it's a home controller, right? So these all belongs to home controller. Here we are having the products. This time we cannot access the products variable directly. So if you want to get the products means you need to call get all products, right? So get all products. That's it. So get all products or fetch all products, whatever the name you want to concern it. So you can use the name. That's it. Hopefully these are only the places which we are using the code. So if you try to see, yeah, it's working fine. Let's try to see the output. This time no products are available. Why? Because I have reinitialized the products uh, array with an empty. Now let's try to add the product. Here I'm adding a product. Immediately you are able to see the product details. Let's try to uh, show this one. So this is how we can show the products data. So hope you understood about this products data also. So now we have divided now we have if you try to see now we have a proper structure of this code if you see here we are having a controllers which is having an admin and a home controller you can create the controllers how many controllers you want you can create it we are having the route space so admin.js file home.js file we can create it whatever the thing you want it if you want you can also create in a separate folder admin and you can make it as a product.js file also so that's your wish so we'll try to do it one by one and this is our utils page so this one is nothing but a services commonly used files we can use commonly used methods we can write it in the utils and this is our views so which contains the views file that's it so this is how how we can create a model now what i will try to do is instead of saving this one in a variable so what we will try to do is in the next session we will try to save it this all products data instead of in a variable we will say try to save it in a file so we will try to save it in a file how can we do that one? Let's try to see it in the 
next session why because this is a models thing so let's try to keep this session as small so we have created the models folder and also we have created a controllers folder so like this we can have a separate figures next video we'll try to see how we can save these all the data in a file and also we'll see how we can read the data from the file also hope you understood about this model creation if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you